Colon cancer is the fourth leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the United States, and that's why screening for colon cancer is so important. Dr. Shrey Modi is joining us this morning. Dr. Modi, welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Morgan, for having me. This uh, is a great place to be in right now. Absolutely. It is very important to be talking about this, so we do appreciate your time. Dr. Modi is a colon and rectal surgeon with Unity Point Health Trinity, mm -hmm. um, so you see a lot of colon cancer patients, I would imagine, among other things. Um, there is a little bit of a trend. We may be seeing a little bit of a decline, very small, in older adults being diagnosed, but we're seeing it more in younger folks. Yes, so the young onset colon cancer is a new entity all by its own itself, and then more and more people at the younger age and socioeconomic status is determining the colon cancer diagnosis. That's why the major society that makes the guidelines have moved the colon cancer screening earlier mm -hmm. from 50 to 45. Yep. So it's like a rite of passage when you're 45 you get a colonoscopy. Absolutely and for some of us it's earlier. <laughs> what is yeah. most important to know um, about colon cancer screenings? What do, you, what do you feel is the most important thing to tell people about that? So simply put it saves lives so this is the only one of the two cancers that can be prevented by screening. Most of the other cancers we talk about that have the test can only be detected earlier, but colon cancer and cervical cancer are the two which can be prevented and just not, you would not have a cancer if you get the screening in time mm -hmm. and if they find a precancerous polyp that is removed entirely during colonoscopy. Uh, yeah. Basically, that is it. no, that is huge. I mean, it is so preventative. Uh, so, when should they begin, and who should be screened? Uh, you already touched on the fact that now the age um, recommended age is 45. Uh, is there any other factors there? Yes, so uh, people who have family history of colon cancer, supposedly okay. their parents got it earlier than 50 years, so then their age will be 40 years of screening because they're supposed to get screened 10 years before their first degree relative was diagnosed with colon cancer. Mm -hmm. People who are having symptoms from the colon cancer that are like weight loss, bleeding from the rectum, or they're just having abdominal pains, which are unexplained by the, any current pathology like gallbladder mm -hmm. or stomach pains. So those people need to be screened with colonoscopy or any other screening methods. Absolutely. Okay, and the screening program, how does that work? Just the, the colonoscopy is kind of the first line of defense? Well, colonoscopy is a most invasive screening method. Okay. If you think about the screening methods, there are other screening modalities as well, and there's one of them that Unity Point is providing. That's yeah. the kit here. It's free and it can be used in the privacy of the home. So what it does, it tests for blood in the stools and also some genetic mutations I as see. well, which falls off from the mucosa or the inner lining of your colon. And if that comes positive, then people need a colonoscopy. Mm -hmm. So that's a good filter for people if they don't want, want to have an invasive test. But any screening is better than no screening. Yeah. I just want to make sure people get that. That they're being proactive. Yeah, and yeah. then of course colonoscopy is the mother of all colon screenings because you can not only diagnose but treat anything at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's kind of what the screening kit looks like, what you're seeing on your screen. That's what Dr. Modi provided uh, in studio with us today. Um, it's basically just kind of like a little bottle, like a sample bottle. You put it back in the envelope and you send it in yeah, and, and you get your results. Yeah, the results are called by phone or delivered at your mail. And the best thing is, is it can be done at the privacy of your home. Absolutely. So. We had that phone number um, for you on the screen. We'll also include that when we put this on our website for people to call. We also want to touch on one more thing. Um, you guys you guys have been uh, partnering with Gilda's Club. You've been holding these cancer educational workshops as well. Um, there have been several, but there are a couple more workshops coming up. November 2nd, mark your calendar. The, uh, they're both in Davenport. This one is at the Lincoln Center, inside the Lincoln Center. Uh, November 7th, the Davenport Public Library. Um, there's another uh, colon cancer educational workshop. Hey, if anything, uh, just, just having the information, being um, armed with more details of how you can be preventative, um, I mean, that's really all you're asking for. Yeah, and then just like your car, it needs a maintenance every year. You do preventive maintenance. Why should your body be treated any different, you know? Yeah. You, you get all oil chains and all kinds of inspections done, and the same thing is with the body. If you if you don't take care of it, I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's going to be a problem down the line. So Absolutely, yeah. Don't be scared. Just just get checked out, right? Yeah, of okay. course. Well, thank you so much for, uh -huh. all, for all you do and for coming in and, and talking about that today. Uh, thank we you, really Morgan, for having it. me. Uh,